My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Royal Crown Sultan. The spiel on this perfume is Sultan is based on the ancient tradition of Arabs culture, paying homage to its strength and refinement. This fragrance is like a drug that in moderate doses dull the senses. I think from reading this, it's been translated from another language because the English isn't quite right or something. I don't know, tell me what you think. Within the perfume, the spicy, vibrant notes fuse with a dark, sensual and smoky vanilla and some rose and tuberose to reveal an narcotic signature. An exclusive, glamorous and seductive scent invoking the juxtaposition of harmony with the intensity of recklessness. It's perfectly rich and irresistible scent is a must have for those addicted to sweet vanilla and highly recommended if you need something unique, bold, yet elegant. Burmese oud, I like Burmese oud, and black leather over purple jasmine. An intense perfume that the skin transforms in an enchanting magnetic aura, giving charisma and charms to the one that wears it. This is expensive. 420 euros for 50 mil, and for 100 mil, it's 579. Notes are Madagascar vanilla, dates, fruity notes, cedar. The middle notes are labdomen, Moroccan rose, jasmine. The base notes are myrrh, sandwood, argwood, oud, and saffron. Do we have our very, very expensive bottles of Royal Crown Sultan? Are we engaged with the high stuff? Let's get testing. So I'm gonna show you the box in the presentation because I think for 400 pounds, it's about 400 pounds, uh, plus shipping, plus taxes, so I had to get it into the UK. Kind of, you're gonna have to, aren't you? That's, that's part of the experience. All the inky on the back is great. Yeah, it's made in Italy. I think it was translated from Italian to English. That's kind of what I feel. So it says alcohol is 70%, which means it's 30% concentration, which means it's an extract of parfum or a parfum. So it's housed in a little box. And here is the presentation. What do you think of this? How do you feel? I don't know how I feel. I mean, it looks quite extravagant, but I, I really don't know how to feel about it. I kind of think it's heavy, it's weighty, it feels luxurious. I like the sort of greeny black, but I kind of don't know. I mean, I think for fragrances like this, where the packaging is expensive and the, you know, all of that, you kind of, you want it a bit blingy. But the crown, I don't know, says the man whose logo was a unicorn. I'm assuming it's going to be very strong, so I'm only going to apply two sprays. Do you have this? Do you like it? What do you think of it? I really would like to know. Do you think it's worth the money? £400 for this. So this is a vanilla-centric fragrance. And one of my favourite fragrances was Naxos by Sergeoff. I thought that, I loved that. I thought that was really very, very nice. And what I'm picking up is similar aroma chemicals are used. So I quite like it. And when you are building a vanilla fragrance, you go immediately towards the vanillin aroma chemicals, which would be ethyl vanillin, which smells of ice cream, vanillin, which smells of vanilla pods, sort of, isobuvatan, which smells of peach melba vanilla ice cream, humarin, which sort of smells of tonka, benzoin, which can sort of make it a bit more narcotic and, and fluffy and sweeter. I like benzoin, it's very nice. Balsams go with it as well. And then you choose your musk choice. And your musk choice in vanilla fragrances is so, so important because the wrong musk will make it smell very dirty or it will make it smell too metallic and metallic vanilla doesn't really work or using one of the linear musks wouldn't work either. It would just make it too clean or fruity smelling. Where you go first generally would be towards the clean white musk. Galaxolide, ethylene brassolate, just clean white musk. They just sort of work. Heliotrope and also you can use in a vanilla and that's really nice in it as well. This is the clean white musk on it. And the reason why you use the clean white musk is because if you used sort of any of the other musk, it could smell dirty. And dirty vanilla isn't really appealing, is it? Dirty vanilla smell. I know some people quite like it. Or it could smell like candles if it's too musk heavy. The animalistic musk wouldn't just wouldn't work at all. You just wouldn't, wouldn't go for them. And also... The right amount of musk is key. 
And so if you overdose the formulation with musk, you would get something so heavy and so flat, it just doesn't radiate off the skin and you get like a skin scent. You really don't want that. When building a vanilla fragrance, choice of the background notes that people don't normally notice and the ratio and the concentrations is key. The more naturals you have in a formulation, generally speaking, the less sort of aroma chemicals and synthetic raw materials you need because naturals generally have much, much more compounds in and a bit like an accord. That's the way to sort of think about it. Galak wood smokes out vanilla beautifully and the more smoky a vanilla is, the more galak wood it has in it. Sand wood also works really nice with the vanilla. The reason why it's reminding me of the Naxos is because it has the lavender in and lavender with vanilla is really nice and sort of really gorgeous and smells sort of very, very nice. I read a few of the comments and people were saying it was really spicy and really this. And I don't know if it's my skin, but I don't really get that from it. I don't really get that sort of myrrh sort of finish to it. I'm sort of getting a little bit of usual like compounds in it to give it that sort of spicy lightness to it. But it's not how I thought, you know, I kind of thought it was going to be a bit bonfire-ish or it was going to be like aggressive or it was going to be something, you know, other. And that's why it's very important not to read the comments on these sites, but to try and sample a fragrance for yourself because people are so subjective. And what one person thinks is, oh God, they pick up a note and it's so strong. Other people don't pick up on it, you see. And this just smells like a very nice vanilla fragrances with nuances of wood compounds, a bit of lavender, cedarwood, sandwood, a bit of patchouli, that sort of stuff. And it's very nice. The vanilla compounds based upon a clean musk. This is not based upon Isu Super and Hedium. Kumarin, ethyl malto, whipping through the base. Ethyl malto is essential, I think, with vanilla fragrances. Even small amounts just sort of makes it very, very palatable. Otherwise, it changes it into a different direction. I do like the combination of sandwood balsams based upon Berlin raw materials. On to my final thoughts. When I think of Sultan, I think of the Ombre Sultan by Serge Luton. And then I'm also thinking at the same time of the Naxos fragrance as well. I'm thinking for 400 pounds for 50 mil, I kind of expected if it's Udi to be so Udi, it's almost like a bit offensive, you can really smell the oud, or it to be so strong that it's kind of uh, overwhelming. I'm very honest with you, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I feel a little bit, it's a very nice fragrance, nothing wrong with it at all. But for 400 pounds, I kind of expected it to be a wall of fragrance, really oudy, really spicy, something. And it's a very nice, inoffensive vanilla fragrance. Vanilla and usual, Benzo Benzo, weight, that sort of thing, and based on naturals. I would have handled this in a completely different way, actually. I would have gone in with much, much more sandwood like raw materials and sandwood amber raw materials, actually. Kashmir and the, all that sort of stuff. I would have made it so vibrate on a different level with all of this. And that's what I think is really missing because it smells nice. I can't really say much more than that, but for the £400 price tag, I kind of expect a lot more from my money and I'm feeling a little bit disappointed. You know, I'm feeling a little bit like it's not really taking me on a journey. It's not telling me a story. I don't feel like a sultan. It smells like a very nice vanilla fragrance. It's very, very nice. But for 400 pounds, I don't want nice. For 400 pounds, I kind of want the Ferrari of, of fragrance world. I kind of want it to take me there, take me on a journey, morph and change to the skin as it's put on. And I feel a little bit disappointed. So I'm going to go through my final marks and thoughts. The box is safe, legal, compliant. Fantastic. That's what I want. It means they're a professional company. Uh, means it's safe for you to wear. Longevity and projection. This lasts a long time because the way it's constructed, all those sort of powders, musk in it, are going to latch it onto the skin. Anything which is powdery at room temperature generally acts as sort of a fixative and fixes onto the skin, changes the viscosity. But it's not. I haven't got any radiance coming off my skin at all. It's just a very nice skin scent. I think you need to apply quite a lot. I know some people said they didn't, and I'm aware I have quite difficult skin, but I don't know, for 400 pounds. I quite like the fragrance. I think it's very, very nice, but I think it's way overpriced in my opinion. I think it's not really taking me to the heights of beautiful Middle Eastern fragrance. That's kind of really what I was expecting, really what I wanted. Similar demographic, because it's an amber fragrance, to the Naxos and to the Serge Lucens Amber Sultan, 
both I love, both have very, very high marks. I'm comparing in my mind to those. And I think that unfortunately for the price, they perform a lot better on my skin and I just haven't got the performance on my skin, but it may be different for other people. If the price was lower and the projection was more, I'd mark it really high because I love these type of fragrances. But purely because the fragrance isn't projecting on my skin and purely because it doesn't, it's not really taking me in any direction apart from a very, very nice vanilla scent and my market is 7 out of 10. It's very nice, it's safe and legal, but it's not wowing me and it's not taking me there. It's kind of not, kind of what anything really. Leave your comments below if you love this. Leave your comments below if you think it's amazing, if it projects on your skin, if it lasts, all, the, all that sort of stuff. I really like to know. But for me personally... I know people spend their money on what I recommend. And I always have that in my mind when I'm doing these reviews, I'm looking after your money. I can't recommend this because the price is £400, pretty bottle, but... So you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.